Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Coming, coming. Oh, David, it's you. Yes, it's me. What are you doing home at noontime? Do you have lunch? David, is anything wrong? No, darling, nothing is wrong with me, but your eyes are red. Are they? I can't tell I'm behind them. David, did you... Oh, I know why you came. Oh, darling, that's sweet. You don't know anything of the kind, and I'm not sweet. I came home to test you. Test me? How many times do I have to tell you not to answer the door when you don't know who it is? Then how do you expect me to find out? Put the chain on the door before you open it. Oh. Then no one can get in if you don't want them to. That's sissy, and I am not a sissy. Then become a sissy. Sometimes it's smart to be one. Can't fool me, David. You didn't come home to tell me that. Came home because of the sick kitten, didn't you? You can't fool me either. That's why your eyes are red. I, uh, had to be uptown this afternoon oh, anyway. David, it's so awful to watch him. Where is he? On the sofa. Have you time to come in? I'll make time. I'm glad you came. He's only a kitten, and yet I... I just can't help feeling... Oh, David, you don't think I'm just being silly? Now, look, darling, I married you because you are silly about things like this. I know there are lots of things more important in the world, but I... Not really, because this sick kitten is a symbol of all the important things in the world. I see what you mean, David. Poor little devil. He just seems to get smaller, so pitifully smaller and vulnerable. David. What, dear? He's not going to die, is he? Well, he... Doesn't seem to be getting any better. I wish you'd never brought him home. Why ask for heartache when you don't have to? If you are afraid of that, you won't have any joy either. David, I'm not brave, and I'm I'm sorry if you're disappointed in me. Now, listen here. A moment ago, you said you weren't a sissy. I'm not about opening doors. Maybe about life, I am. No. That's probably for me. I told Roger to call in case something came up at the office. Hello. Oh, Kelly, this is Norton. Yes, but uh, I'll be tied up for a little while. But look here, now, you stay where you are. I'll be there when I get there. I'm warning you. Have that reinforcing problem licked or else. Okay, goodbye, old boy. Well, I couldn't be married to Kelly David. He wouldn't understand. He's not a bad guy, just a little tough. You sound tough. I am tough. Don't let this general exterior fool you. It's not the exterior that fools me. It's your interior. Just because you think I came home at high noon to see a sick kitten, you think I'm not tough, I think you're wonderful. That's what I think. Say, how would you like to go out to dinner tonight? There's that nice fish place around the corner. Mm, No, I'd rather stay home. Would you like me to get some fish for dinner? It all depends on what kind of fish. Not salmon, please. There are other kinds of fish than salmon in the sea. Say, maybe the smell of fish would perk up the kitten. Like uh, aromatic spirits of ammonia? (laughs) Well, it's an idea. No harm in trying, darling. I'm going by the store. I'll give you a lift in the car if you're ready to start. Maybe when I get back, he'll be better? Maybe, darling, but don't count on it. Good day, Mrs. Norton. Oh, Fritz, hello. Lovely day, yes? Is it? I've been hearing, so I hardly noticed. Uh, I take your bundles up. You are without bread. It's all right. I can manage. Oh, I go up anyway to the fourth floor to fix things. Fritz, you're always going up to the fourth floor. What do they do up there? Four little boys. Oh, <laughs> I see. I take the packages. It's fish. I can smell it. That's good. I hope the kittens can. That's what I bought it for. Oh, the little kittens are too young for eating still. Yes, I know. One of them's awfully sick, Fritz. Oh, no, and so small. Before he even is alive, 
Uh, but the other one, he is strong. Oh, yes, he, he's all right. Well, maybe the little sick one will be all right, too. Mm. Uh, I was a farmer once, Mrs. Norton. I was good with the animals. Uh, I come in and look at him. Oh, would you? Maybe you'll know what the matter is. Maybe uh, I try. Come on, he's I- in the living room. Yeah, I go in first and see how he is. I'll come with you. He's right over there, Fritz, on the pillow. Yeah. He's awfully quiet now. Yeah, he, he is quiet. That's a good sign, isn't it? He's been mostly feverish and restless. Is he warm, Fritz? Feel his nose. No, he is... He's cool now. Then maybe everything is... Everything is all right now. It is? Well, you mean he... Yeah. I shouldn't have gone out if I'd stayed home. You could do nothing. It's the way. What way? Always for the living, there, there must be the dead. Why, Fritz? He was so small. Yeah, it's not the size or the age. There's no method in it at all. It's not for us to decide. Here, I take him now. I take care of everything. What are you going to do? No, no, don't tell me. I don't want to know. It will be the best that way. It's the other one. I guess he doesn't know. Well, he knows, perhaps. <laughs> he smells the fish. I don't want him now. You take the other kitten, too, Fritz. Give him to Bertha. Oh, no, you'll be one No, him. I don't want anything. It's, it's safer not to want anything. I've learned that much already. But Mrs. Norton, he cries for you. And he's alive yet. It's for the living one must live. Until? Yeah, until. And then there, there are always others. May I go now? Uh, there, sir, she will come up. I, I'm all right, thanks. Fritz. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Norton? Thanks for having been here. Oh, I am glad. And you will see, with things like this, we cannot fight. And always, there are things like this. <laughs> I will. Now, what do you think you're doing? Being a sissy, of course, like my husband likes me to be. Now, wring your neck. Oh. Now, put your face up to the crack and let me see who it is, please. Open this door. Put your face up. All I can see is the tip of your nose. I don't recognize it. You'll recognize it, all right. (gasps) Is that a nice way to ask permission to come in? What's the password? Claudia, darling, it's the end of a long day. I'm tired. That's better. Well, now that I know you're the dashing, harmless Mr. Norton, come on in. Well, David, you know, I thought it was you. You did, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, you're never satisfied. This morning when I opened the door without the chain, I got a long lecture about it. You should be locked up. Say... You've got a funny look on your face. You're not very original. You said that this morning, too. Well, this is a different funny look. Oh. You're much too gay. Oh, I just can't please you. This morning my eyes were red. Tonight there's something... There is wrong. something fishy about all this. <gasps> Can you smell it all the way out here? And I don't mean fish. Oh. Now, try and answer me like a human being. Huh. <gasps> That's a lovely thing to call your favorite wife. What is? Merely a human being. I haven't seen you all day. Since one o'clock. Then you come home, and the best you can do is call me a human being. You're right. I apologize. You're not a human being. I'm not. No resemblance at all. Then what have you got nicer to say I am? You are half wood sprite, half she-devil, and half magpie. It can't be. Why not? That's three halves, David. Nothing's three halves. (laughs) You are. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye. Oh, now you're being really sweet. I will not be called really sweet. I feel anything but. Tell me, how does it feel to feel like anything but? Oh, not bad. Not bad. I wish I felt like anything but. Darling, uh, sit on my lap a minute. Say, did I tell you about the little man at the fish store? What about him? Well, I went in about the fish. I didn't know what kind to get, so... You know, David, fish stores are pretty exciting places when you're accustomed to the butcher, don't you think? I mean, in a fish store, people sort of have something in common. The, uh, fish? No, no, it's more than that. I, 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 I sort of get a feeling when I buy a fish that I never get when I buy a steak. I don't even know where a steak comes from. <laughs> from a steer, you do Oh, I know it comes from something, but I mean, it's... This little part of that something has no personality. But a fish, there you really got something, all of it. You can even look it right in the eye. Do you always look your fish in the eye before you buy it? Always. There it is, resting elegantly on a bed of cracked ice. 
perfectly self-satisfied, absolutely unblinking and disinterested. You know where you stand with a fish, because there it is in person. There are no bones about it. <laughs> there are plenty of bones in a fish, none in a steak, but uh, what about the little man? What about him? Oh, yes, well, he wanted to tell me a filet of sole or halibut, but I bought a mackerel. The whole fish or no fish at all? Oh, so much personality in a mackerel. This one, David, was positively magnetic. And? And what? And then what? Then nothing. That's all there is to it. Fascinating. The story of a magnetic mackerel. <laughs> Look, darling, relax. I am relaxed. I'm so relaxed I've got the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> You're... You're not kidding me. Now, come on now. Tell me what's happened since I saw you. I was telling you. Well, that's not what I meant, and you know it. I know it. The kitten died, David, while I was out with the mackerel. Darling, I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Why didn't you call me? Well, I... I, I thought I'd wait till you got home. You know, in a way, I was glad you weren't here, David. It gave me a little time. Where is he? Fritz took him. Darling, I... I bought those kittens, brought them home to make everything easier, not harder. I know you did, darling. And I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I... I am because, in a way, it's... It's my fault they were too young. I was too young this morning, too. Say, Fritz was a farmer, did you know? He was? Mm-hmm. I suppose when you're a farmer, you, you're going to learn an awful lot about things, too, like Fritz. Yes, you do. From the start to the finish, there's a lot of living that goes on and working the land. You're going to make a wonderful farmer, David. Just like Fritz. That's a... That's a very, very nice compliment. Claudia. Hmm? Would you like me to return the other kittens? Now, come on, come on, come on. Don't be ashamed to say so. I'm only Papa. No, Papa. You were awfully smart to buy a spare, darling. You should see how much milk the spare drank this afternoon. <laughs> remarkable, remarkable. You wait and see. He's going to grow up to be the world's most outstanding cat. I'd say he would probably be the uh, chairman of the back fence. How's that? <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> you know, darling, even if you put eight chains on eight doors before letting anyone in, you, you still wouldn't be a sissy. Well, then it's all right for me to open the door. But if I ever catch you doing it, I will break every bone in your body. Oh, David, how wonderful. You really love me as much as that? All story material used on this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. Getting ready to go to market? Then put this hint in the back of your mind. Pause where you see that familiar red cooler and have an ice-cold Coca-Cola. Then you can shop refreshed. And remember the family likes refreshment, too. So have your grocer or your service station attendant put a case of Coca-Cola in your car. There's plenty of Coke again. Keep it on ice for your family and your friends. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember. Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.